Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. First of all, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Today is 1-1-2020. Hopefully everyone had a beautiful evening, watched the ball drop and all that good stuff. All right, so I got that out of the way. So in this video, what I want to talk about is getting Cisco Packet Tracer installed on your laptop, on your desktop, on a Windows machine. I'm going to be doing this on a Windows 10 system. So I'm walking you through this on Windows, okay? Because I've gotten so many requests in the last couple of days because I've been putting up videos on Packet Tracer, doing little labs and different topologies. And people were saying every time they try to get Packet Tracer, they're having difficulties. So I wanted to take the opportunity today to walk you through getting it installed, getting it set up. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so welcome back. All right, so now we're on my desktop, we're on a virtual machine, and I'm gonna walk you guys through getting Packet Tracer set up, okay? So first thing you can do, we can go to Google. Okay, because everyone goes to Google for everything, including myself. So we can do Cisco Packet Tracer, okay? Like I said, I already have a, a download and installed, so, First things first, when you come to this screen, okay, you're gonna hit enroll to download Packet Tracer. Okay, when you hit enroll to download Packet Tracer, it's gonna bring up this screen, okay? So it's free, it's free 99 like everyone loves, okay? You have a, you can do this 10 hour course and it's a beginner's, you can do it at your, you know, your own pace, etc., etc. So English is mine, so you hit sign up today and bada bing bada boom. Self enrollment, including uh, introduction, excuse me, to the Packet Tracer 2019. You put your name, your last name, your fancy email, and if you can do basic math, you just do nine plus two equals 11. And then you hit submit. Then you should get a link to to your to your email, okay? So I, I believe so, because I, I downloaded this quite, quite some time ago. So once you download it, or once you get the, the confirmation email, then you're gonna to go to back to the link, and I already logged in. So you're gonna to go to uh, netacad.com slash portal slash learning, okay? This is the homepage. So once you're on this homepage, they're gonna be doing some maintenance. So you can see what I've enrolled in. You know, I, I, look, I took a sneak peek at some of these courses when I was checking them out. So. But you want to get straight to the chase, right? You want to get straight to how do I download Packet Tracer? That's why you're here. So let's go back up. Let's go to uh, uh, my Netacad, my learning. That's how you get to here. Okay. Then we're going to go down resources. You can do look at the courses, Packet Tracer, career advice. We're going to go to Packet Tracer, right? Because that's why we're here to get this hands on practice for the labs I'm providing, right? And so, with that being said, you're going to go ahead and click whatever operating system you have, 32-bit, 64-bit, if my, if my guess, it would be 64-bit, right? So you hit 64-bit, it downloads, and we're going to let that download for a second. And if you're unsure of what uh, architecture you're running, what you can do is open up a command prompt. This is, I think, the easiest way, at least for me. And you can do system info, okay? And with in system info, that will give you your information for your system, just like it says, right? So let that let that open. Let that run through its uh, information gathering, loading information. Usually on my desktop, it doesn't take that long. So maybe the other way would have been quicker, but straight up, um, let's go up a little bit. You can see here, uh, system type 64-bit base BC, or you can go ahead and right-click on um, your Windows Windows icon. You can go to System, and it can also show you here 64-bit operating system. Okay, perfect. So that's the reason why we downloaded 64-bit. Okay, perfect. So now we can just run this executable. Run. Okay. Let's go ahead. Sorry for the crazy background. I haven't used this VM probably in about a month. 
I usually use my my VMware stuff, but I'm doing some uh, doing some labs in my VMware environment, so I just didn't want to tinker with anything and break anything while I'm doing that. Okay, we can do a quick launch shortcut, install, install, and let out go, let it go on its merry way. Okay, so while that's doing that, you know, today is one one twenty twenty. Like I said, I hope everyone's having a beautiful start to their new year, and hopefully this this year is wonderful and all your dreams and wishes and all that good stuff come true. Work hard, play hard, you know, play by that model and good things and great things will happen. Okay. So this journey has been what? At least two months, nearly two months. And I have over 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. And, you know, maybe I should be putting out a little more content from but obviously with the holidays and what more was going to come. And I, I've seen, you know, talk to people on social media saying they've been doing this for years. You know, I have someone reached out to me asking me how I did it. I don't know. <laughs> I just put my uh, videos together, put it on YouTube and share it on my, you know, my social media platforms and pray like this. Please, God, make people see it. And then however the algorithm works with YouTube. And I guess it's a little blessing, right? And I just thank God for it. All right. So now you have Packet Tracer installed, right? Sorry for the little rant. I just wanted to uh, uh, let, let you in on that insight. So we can hit finish. And we'll let this do its thing for a second. Remember, this is running a VM, so it's going to be... A little little slower than maybe your PC because I only have allocated I think two gigs to this machine okay so blah, blah, blah okay that's fine and then this is gonna come up when this comes up it's gonna ask you to log in again so what you're gonna use for your login is your username excuse me your email and your password that you set up on the initial setup page okay just remember that don't you know I'm like oh what, what is my email and we we'll have to do this all over. No, this is the same exact credentials that you'll need um, for it. And I guess I it like log me right in because I'm a red. Oh, maybe not. I guess too quick. That's why. Okay, user login right at the bottom. Okay, come on. Let's see if I can just guess. Guess login. Okay. So, nope. That's what stinks about VMs. Okay, perfect. So we are on the user login down. Maybe you can't see it because my uh, my camera's in the way. But you see user login on the bottom right-hand corner. So I'm going to put my fancy uh, credentials in here. Once it starts typing. Okay, perfect. My fancy password. Perfect. Now I want to log in. Once you log in, it's going to authenticate to your NetAcad credentials, and bada bing! Now this is a uh, this is Packet Tracer. Okay, you can just do some fancy things, just like I do on other videos. You can do two switches, and you can do fancy connections, and open your connections, and have that boot up. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with Packet Tracer. Uh, just like, you know, this is how my other videos, this is, you know, you know, the same kind of concept, like you show spanning tree because spanning tree is learning this here, bada bing, and do it again. It's probably learning. It's probably going to be listening, learning, forwarding, right? There's three little things, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take about 30 seconds. That's the default. So let that do its thing for a second. And then you can, you know, you could do some fancy things. You can say, okay fill this with i don't know purple because you want to be barney today and then you know the other switch is going to be pink and poof. and that's how you do like the little designs and cool stuff like that um one thing i do like to do and i'll wrap it up here see like i don't like the white background black text i like the black background and like a bright color I think in my one of my desktop it's yellow 
So I'm going to show you how to t I'll show you how to do that. So you go to Options, Preferences, okay, and then you go to Fonts. And I like my, you know, you, you can tinker with this however you like, but for the for mine, the CLI I liked at 11, 11, and then the router iOS text instead of black I can do. I'll leave it at white, and with the background, I'll do black. Okay, and look how much better this is, in my opinion. I think that's so much easier to look at, to, to view, and if you want to make that font bigger, you can just go back here, fonts, let's say 14, that's the CLI, right? That's the one that, and you see how it's, it's, a, it's, it's bigger now, see? You can do the same thing, show interface status, and you can do all your cool things that you like to do on your switches, right? Your layer two switches, and you can add routers, firewalls, etc. But that sums it up for this video. This is how you install and get it set up, uh, how you install Packet Tracer and get it set up. Some basic little tweaks you can do to make it a little better. But hopefully this has been informational for you. Hopefully it helped you getting Packet Tracer installed, getting it set up knowing where to get it, how to do it, and all that good stuff. So without further ado, have a wonderful, happy new year, like I said again. And please like, subscribe, share with your friends, spread the love and spread the word. And I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Again, thank you so much and have a wonderful new year and a wonderful day.